Hello, in this problem, we are going to evaluate this indefinite integral. So we have a rational function because we have a polynomial over a polynomial. And you'll notice that the degree here in the numerator is three and here it's two. So whenever you have something like this, you want to first perhaps try long division. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do the process of long division. And again, we're going to do that because the degree in the numerator is bigger than the degree in the denominator. Here it's a three and here it's a two. So I'm gonna go ahead and write it out. X squared plus zero X plus one. I like to fill my placeholders in. And then X cubed plus three X squared plus zero X plus zero. I like to fill in all missing powers of X with um, zero and you know the appropriate power of X. So here we were missing um, a power of X, so zero X. Here we were missing a power of X and also the zero. So to start the process, you ask yourself, what do you multiply by x squared in order to get x cubed? Well, x. So then you write it above the placeholder. So if you didn't have the placeholder, you can just put it over here. But I like lining things up. It just makes it a little bit easier to look at. So again, the question is, what do you multiply by x squared in order to get x cubed? So x. Then you perform the multiplication. x times x squared is x cubed x times 0x is 0x squared, and then x times 1 is x. And I like to draw a line, and then I put a parentheses and a giant minus sign, and then you're basically distributing the negative 1 here and adding. You're subtracting, but I like to think of it as adding. So it's x cubed plus negative x cubed, so that's 0. 3x squared minus 0x squared is going to be 3x squared, okay? And then here we're going to have a minus x. And then you bring down the zero. And then you repeat the process. What do you multiply by x squared in order to get three x squared? Well, a positive three. And then you multiply three times x squared is three x squared. Three times zero x is zero x. Whoops, let me just, I forgot the plus sign. Thankfully I have an eraser and I'm not using a pen but some people use pen, that's good, you can use pen. Three times one is three. Draw a line, parentheses, and then giant minus sign there. Okay, so now we distribute the negative or subtract, whatever you prefer. So it goes away, we're just gonna get a negative x and we're gonna get a negative three. So that's the remainder. So basically what we've done is we have this here. So x cubed plus three x squared over x squared plus one. That's equal to the quotient, which is this piece here, so x plus three, plus the remainder, which is this piece here, so negative x minus three over the divisor, so x squared plus one. Okay, just like that. And if you prefer, what you can do here um, is you can basically um, write this as x plus 3, okay, and then minus x plus 3 over x squared plus 1. Okay, you could do that. And you could take this even a step further and break it up even more, perhaps to make the integration easier. This is actually going to be x plus 3 minus, I'm going to just break it up here, minus x over this. Whoops. over x squared plus one minus three over x squared plus one. So you can go from here to here too. I just showed some extra steps here. So now you just basically have to integrate all of this and you're good to go, okay? So now we're gonna integrate this because this is what we started with, right? So up here, so if you give this a name, I'll call it um, i for integral. So now i is gonna be equal to, so it's the integral of this x plus three with respect to x, that's pretty easy, minus um, the integral of this, minus, I'll pull the three out, the integral of this. All right, so now we can just do each of these. The only one that's gonna require a simple substitution is this one, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that down here on the side. So for this one here, um, we're going to let u be x squared plus 1. So then du 
is the derivative of u, it's going to be 2x dx, right? Just taking the derivative of both sides. And um, this 2x does not appear in the integrand. We're missing a 2, so I'll divide both sides by 2. So we have 1 half du equals x dx, okay? So now this, this thing here is going to become the x dx is 1 half du, and the bottom there is a u, right? Because u is equal to x squared plus 1. So this integrates to 1 half natural log absolute value of u, um, which is absolute value of x squared plus 1, but you don't really need the absolute value because x squared plus 1 is positive, plus some constant, uh, which I won't write. I'm going to write the constant here at the end. You're basically going to get three constants of integration, so at the end we'll just write it as 1. So let's finish. This is going to be x squared over 2. The 3 is going to become a 3x. That's from the power rule, right? You just take 1 and add it to the exponent and divide by the result. And whenever you have a number, you just append an x next to it. Minus, we work this out on the side, it's 1 half, natural log x squared plus 1, and then minus 3. And this is going to give you an arc 10. So this is arc 10 x plus our constant of integration. So pretty easy. If you're not familiar with the arc 10 formula, let me just re refresh your memory. If you have 1 over x squared plus a squared dx, that's going to be 1 over a arc tangent of x over a plus a constant of integration. So in this case, your a is 1, okay? So it's just 1 over 1 and then x over 1. So this is like the easiest case. So I went through that kind of quickly, but it's still almost a 7-minute video. Um, could definitely go slower, but hopefully, hopefully this made sense to you. Hopefully it's been helpful. I hope this helps. Good luck.